How High the Moon is a tune that I kind of, I think maybe the first time I heard it was, you know, from the 40s swing era. Um, not that I was alive back then, though some days I feel like it. Um, but the, um, it was, um, you know, one of the vocal groups from back then. And then I might have heard, I think, the trio with Emily Lou Harris and um, I think it was Emily Lou Harris, Linda Ronstadt, and Dolly Parton maybe, uh, who did it. And, brain's foggy so I'm probably wrong there um, but then um, playing it uh, he hearing the great jazz groups do it instrumentally uh, is always inspirational so uh, Pat Cloud um, kind of got me going on this song recently even though I wanted to learn it for a long time and then he you know any of you who uh, who want to learn this tune well I highly recommend you know maybe getting a lesson or two or three or four with Pat and have him show you the tune and, and the way he thinks of improvisation over it but I'm going to show you basic chords in this lesson basic chords and melody and um, and then you can figure out what you want to do from there maybe in another lesson I'll, I'll show you know some shapes that you can use for improv over this or maybe I'll do it in this one I don't know see what inspires me um, it's in G which is nice Got a few chords in it that are not in, you know, normal in a G major key. It goes through a cycles of two fives uh, a couple of times and, you know, does minor two fives and everything. It's just got some interesting sounds in it. Um, for those of you who don't know the tune, it sounds sort of like this. half so let me, let me give it to you with a little one two oh on So it's a real neat tune, and you can see the melody is structured right off of the chords. There's a G. There's your then G minor. So the chords are G major, G minor, and this G minor then goes to a C7, C7, C13 in this case. F major seven. Seven to B flat thirteen, which is just B flat seven, whatever. 
This is going to be E flat major. major, E flat major seven to a. That's a two five in G, A minor seven, D seven, but they were going to land on a G minor. Ooh, that's different. Now we're going to do a minor two five, which is A minor seven flat five to D seven flat nine, and go to a G major. Now that's interesting little thing. The 2-5 in a major 2-5 goes to a G minor, and then the minor 2-5 goes to G major. Then there's a nice little uh, turnaround sequence. B minor, 7, to B flat, 7, I've got a 9 in this case, A minor 7, D7, and I would probably alter that going back to the second half. Now this time, it does go to the D major. Throws another little 2-5 in there. Yeah, so it's a neat tune. Uh, improvisationally, I would probably some you know just play something. Uh, the first is. So anyway, yeah, forget what I just said. It was a waste of time. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tune. And again, get with Pat. He's a great, he can really teach some great stuff on that tune in particular. I, I got a lot from him out of it. And I think I will kind of maybe show some, a little more organized improvisational ideas at some point.